Hello and welcome to episode 1 of a brand new series where I'll be remastering my old um, train chassis tutorial which was um, extremely, extremely, extremely very uh, poorly made. So I'll just be recreating this. Um, I'll be recreating the train tutorial and I'll be showing you how to make it even better. Um, and yeah, I apologize for all the other people who um, watched my older tutorials. They were kind of mid, so um, I'll be showing you how to make something like this. Um, this will be episode one. I'll be teaching you how to make a simple uh, track and a simple glider. Um, and yeah, so episode one, I hope you enjoy. Okay, first let's import a, let's put in a sphere. Uh, you just click here, you click sphere, and then um, you can see this, you can just drag it anywhere. Uh, make sure you change the snapping to like 1. Uh, and then for size, just hit 1, because uh, if it's too big, then it looks weird. If it's too small, then Roblox collisions are um, really <laughs> funky, so 1 is probably the perfect size. Uh, and then you just want to make 4 of these, so you just drag be like this wide and then this long uh, make this 0.5 closer to here okay next we need to make the rails so let's drag this down here um, and we go down to shape and let's hit a block okay and let's drag this to over here and let's make it like 0.5 high Okay, uh, go over here, right, go like that, uh, let's go down to 0.25, let's even make it more thinner, uh, and then we want to duplicate it, so it's like that, let's add maybe 0.25 of wiggle room, um, just so when you're going up and down, the spheres won't collide with top. Um, yeah, now let's make the size, just duplicate this, like so, uh, let's give like 0.5 of width, and then now you have your track. Next we need to add the base for these gliders, um, just, just duplicate this top part, just bring it down, and then let's click all the spheres, and then we can hit group as model. Now we can just rename this as Boogie. Um, let's click this and let's rename this to Base. Let's rename it to Boogie Base. And then the rest, let's rename it to Glider. Um, yeah, so let's go into Plugin. Uh, you can just use any weld constraint plugin you want, or you can just weld them manually. So just use this one. And then weld it all into this bogey base. Make sure the bogey base is unanchored and unclide. And then the gliders, um, glidable and unanchored. Um, the tracks, let's group them and let's rename it to track. Let me move this into complicated storage. Um, so now we have the bogey and with the track. Make sure the parts for the track are anchored. Um, for the gliders, uh, we should have separate collision groups, but um, I'll put that in another tutorial because it's not needed right now. So now that we have the bogey base, um, let's visualize this. Let's make this transparency to one. Uh, no, actually, let's extend it. Five studs. All right, so you hold control. And then you extend it like that, extend it like that, extend it like that, this, extend it like that. Okay, and then we can make everything except the bottom one transparent so we can see it better. Uh, yeah, um, now let's add attachment and let's call it LV or LV attach. So this is going to be attachment and we're going to import a linear velocity. So this linear velocity, it moves the train. So let's click 
relative to attachment zero. Velocity can open something and then we click line. Uh, if you turn on constraint details, uh, let's also attach this. Attachment zero will be LV attach. So now you have that. Now we can hit 10 and it'll be going that way. Uh, and yeah, so this should be working. Let's just... Actually, I might have done something wrong. Yeah, okay, so what you should do is make this 0.25 width like that. Because you still need wiggle room when you're turning, right? 25 like that. And then now it should the track should be finished. So hit transparency except the bottom one. Alright, so now that we have the bogey working, let's make some tracks. Um, now your gliders can be closer to the rail if you want. Um, it'll just be really weird on sharp turns. So let me drag this out and let's hit zero to go fully straight. I'll just make a few tracks like that. Um, let's hit five, a five degree turn. And let's just make a turn like that. And then maybe flip it. Okay. Um, and yeah, we make the FOV like 60. Uh, and let's hit run and we can see the bogey working. Now you can hit the, uh, with the bogey base, make the linear velocity higher, Wait, like 25. And you can see it is turning quite smoothly. Now, if you want to make the bogey uh, two bogeys to make a train or whatever. Make sure you get one side of the bogey, just unenable it. Uh, we have these two bogeys, let's just group it and have this bogey base, just duplicate it. Get rid of everything inside here. Drag it out here. And then like that. Uh, we should probably get rid of this linear velocity attachment and let's just drag this into bulky base. Um, everything inside here. Delete the linear velocity. Now, don't hit run because <laughs> this won't work. Uh, you need to add attachments. So let's add attachment inside here. Attachment inside here. Uh, bring these attachments inside here. Now let's copy the position from this front bogey and paste the position here into the world C-frame. And then same thing with this one. That, paste it like that, and then let's make some hinge constraints. Uh, attachment zero, so this one will be attached to this one. And then let's rotate this 90 degrees. And then this one, let's create another hinge constraint. Uh, and then put attachment zero into this one and then and this one. This one. Or what? And this one. And then this one goes to this one. Alright. Yeah. Um, so you just create hinge constraints in this one and hinge constraints in this one so I can actually rotate. Let me rotate this 90 degrees as well. And then if we hit run. We might need to add a bit more linear velocity. Oh, it's 25. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> what? Alright, um... Oh. Yup, it works. Uh, let me make the linear velocity. If you, if the train is not moving, it might be because of the max force. So maybe make the mass force, um, like 5,000. Or if your train is bigger, then add more max force, probably. And then you line velocity, let's do like 10. We hit run. We can see our train going. Uh, and yeah, this is the reason why the bogies, they sometimes act out if there isn't enough, if there's more than enough room on the sides. Um, there is a partial fix. Uh, I don't know how effective it would be, but uh, if you just change the density on the gliders, select all the gliders. Okay. And then you hit custom physical properties. Make the density like as big as possible. Elasticity zero, 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 zero. Maybe not 100, like 25. And then make sure to up the max force to like 10,000. That doesn't seem to fix it, but um, it does make your train sort of more stabler when on turns and stuff so you can see it's going quite smoothly yeah so we might want to move the gliders a bit closer to the rail, uh, but that's up to you. Um, so yeah, this is basically part one. Um, part two will be focusing on creating an actual vehicle controller. It'll be mainly on the focus on the scripting part. So yeah, thanks for watching and. I'll most likely release part 2 right when I release part 1 so you guys don't have to wait to get your train moving. Okay, so thank you uh, and uh, have a great day.